All right, guys, we are back. We have just finished picking up the stitches for the cup of our sock. We're gonna pretend that we've already knit all of our ribbing and we're going to use our needles to now divide the sock in half. And it's the same as before. We're gonna use our needle to pick up the right hand leg of each of the stitches going around. We'll then skip a row and then, so two rows below the row that we picked up, we'll be picking up stitches again. It's easier for me to show you than to explain it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up stitches the exact same way that we did before. The right hand leg of each stitch, remember over, under, over, under. I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna go all the way around front and back and then I'll be right back to show you what the next step's gonna look like. All right, so we have completed step one of Operation Separate Your Sock Tube. We've got all the way around, picking up the right hand leg of each stitch. Now, we're gonna skip a row of V's and starting on that second row below, we're gonna start picking up the right hand leg of the stitches directly below, not directly below, remember you're skipping a row, don't pick them up directly below, there will be tears. Skip, skip a row. And then the right hand leg, again, you're pros at this now. Over, under, over, under, you. We'll touch on this also in the video about the heel, but this is the exact same technique that you're gonna be using when we go to knit our heel. And by that, we will speed up using the magic of technology. I'll be right back. Through the magic of television, we have done our top catching stitches with the right leg and our bottom catching stitches on the right leg, leaving that one teeny little row of undisturbed stitches in the middle. Now I've done this, remember I picked up the top stitches using Magic Loop and I picked up the bottom stitches using my DPN. You, I just, these are the needles that I had laying around. You can do both either or. You can use Magic Loops, you can use DPNs. I will say that the double pointed needles, if you try to do it for both, it will be a little harder to do because the needle takes up more retail space than the cable does. So it might be a little easier if you've got two long cable needles to go ahead and do it both using magic loop so that these stitches can rest on a cable instead of the full diameter of your double pointed needle. With all that said, dun, 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 dun. it's time to snip. It's okay. It's going to be one little snip. I'm here for you. You're not going to wreck these socks. It's one little snip. So you're going to pick one of your uncaught stitches. Remember we left that row. That was key for this, this next little part. You're gonna, oh, sorry, camera. You're gonna go under the leg of one of those stitches in the middle. It does not matter which one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, it's ruined forever. It's really not. I like to do this next part with a tapestry needle. You could use a spare DPN, whatever you have laying around, and you are just going to unknit all the way around. I get under the leg of that following stitch and it comes right out. It's very satisfying and a little less scary than steaking, which will be another video. All right, we're going to use the magic of video again. Literally all I'm going to do guys is keep doing this. Just keep pulling out the yarn all the way around flip the sock and follow all the way around here. I'll be right back towards the end to show you what that's going to look like. All right, we are almost there. When one sock becomes two socks. Also guys, if you are holding the two socks towards the end when you've got this give with some tension, it makes unwinding it unraveling it way easier. 
three, two, one. I said one. Oh, we have sock freedom. I'm sorry. Was that one sock or two socks? And now you can proceed. Look at this. Now you have both socks on two needles. So now you can do your toe on the one side or the cuff again, whatever, what have you, whatever part you're working on. Or the toe. And the toe will proceed just like any other normal sock. You'll start with your decreasing and you'll do your Kitchener at the end when it is approximately toe shaped. Uh, we will have a link in the video um, in case you do want a little refresher on how to do a toe or how to do a Kitchener. We will provide some links for that as well. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Stay tuned if you haven't already watched for the heel video, the afterthought heel video.